Safety. 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 Ah. Hi. Safety Officer Matt here. When you're at home having fun doing a Star Time live session, always remember that our numero uno, that means number one. Why don't you just say number one then? Because numero uno is cooler, you know? Numero uno. Debatable. Anyway, safety is our first priority. Always make sure that your space is safe. That means you've got enough room to move around. There's no sharp corners, objects, furniture, things that might fall over and cause a hazard and then potentially cause you an injury. Oh, oh no, 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 no. See, this is no good. Let's clear this space and make it safe. Good. Now that's done, we can... Whoa, 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 Contessa! We can't just climb objects willy-nilly. We have to ask an adult first to see if it's stable. Mom, can I climb this tree? It's also good to have adults around in case something goes wrong. Otherwise, no one can hear you scream. And that's bad when you need someone to help you. Mom! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Star Timers. Yes, we are back for another session of Star Time Live coming at you. Um, I'm excited. Uh, so should you. We're going to be doing. Thank you, that's our studio audience, they're excited. Today, we're gonna do DIY pet toys, and then later on today, uh, we're going to be doing some cooking, some uh, skillful sweet cake topping, I believe. Um, but it'd be very boring to have just me here, so let me just call up a guest, a co-host. Oh, sorry, it's ringing back. Uh, hello, yeah, I'd like to order a co-host, please. Any old co-host? Yep. Can we get... Um, can we get Tommy? It's not available. Uh, can we get uh, Emma? Oh, not, av not available. C um, Contessa? Oh, um, well, who have you got? Santan? Yeah, I get, yeah, 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 get her in, get her in. Hello? Okay, she's coming, good. All right, we've got Santan, guys, to do DIY pet toys. Oh, she's right here, Hi, oh, 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 Santan. Oh, oh, what just happened? I think we both disappeared, actually, but anyway, no, we're back. We're back. We're back. And I, I, so I just asked for a co-host and you were the, on the top of the list. Oh, I'm so glad yes. to hear it because I love coming into Star Time yes. all the time. And we love having you. And you are also the best at creating things. Um, and I think today's a very creative session, I believe. It sure is. We're going to get our creative time on, everyone, because today we're doing DIY pet toys. Oh, what? great. I know. But before we start doing oh. DIY pet toys, um, uh, now I know some of you out there have your cameras off and oh. that's cool. We respect that if you're respect, feeling a little bit totally. shy. But remember, if you do want to engage with us, just um, take your camera off and give us your star time fingers to say, hi, I'm here Yay. and I can hear you. And uh, if you've got any questions for us or anything like that, just wave and, and uh, we'll uh, answer your questions. Mm. Again, if you're uh, even still shy to do that, you can always type in your questions in the, the chat. chat. Now, we also <laughs> have our emoji challenge. Do you know about the emoji challenge? I love the emoji challenge because it makes you keep listening the whole way you got to keep through. listening. And if you are the fastest fingers at the emojis, you win yourself a prize. <laughs> that is correct, cool. Sontan. You know everything. And that's why you are on the top of the list as our co-host <laughs> Thanks, Matt. today. Um, so, thank you. Um, the emoji challenge, yes. We're going to actually announce the winner of this week at the end of today. So, not oh, after this session, yeah. after next session. So, uh, but that means you've still got a chance. If you're not leading right now, you've got a chance to catch up. Um, in this session and the next. Chance. Do you want to know what the emojis are? Oh, I would love to know okay. what the emojis are. See if you can guess this. Do you mm -hmm. like charades? I love charades. Okay, here we go. No. Um, Axolotl. No. Oh. Uh, 
Look at this around here. Oh, um, um, oh. Dragon. Oh, oh no, no, less, less, uh, less. Ooh, hold on a second. They look like claws. Um, oh, 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 and mane. this around here. Yes, yes, I was doing yes, the mane. Yes. Line is one. That's a good mane. Second one is. Uh, Right hand. Not just wait, oh, and then uh, <laughs> things on and go. Mm -mm. <sighs> burger. All Got the it. Way. Easy <laughs> burger. Yes, that was a good and one. And the last one is. I mean, sure you'll be able to get this one, but. Like Slash was in the house. Slash was in the I house. I believe that was none other than a guitar. Of course, an it was a guitar. guitar. An air, well, no, just a regular oh, guitar. Right. Sorry, sorry. Um, yeah. I was doing the it was you were charades. Too good. You were like, right, okay, got it. So, if anyone followed any of that, uh, that was Lion, Burger, and guitar. guitar. So, if we say any of those, you'd be the first to write them down in the chat or copy and paste the emoji, and uh, you'll get the point. Now, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, please. But we don't just say, oh, guys, now I'm going to say lion. No. Now I'm going to say burger. No. Now I'm going to say guitar. No. <laughs> okay, cool. We slip them in secretly. So you've got to be careful. You've got to be paying attention. It's, mm -hmm. it's a game of attention. Oh, I love it. We don't call it that because that sounds boring, but it really is. <laughs> sounds a, like game of detention. Welcome to the game of attention. <laughs> no good. No, thank you. What's happening? There's fairies in the house. Hello, what are they saying? The gold dust. Oh, they're telling us that, oh, the prize is, is what? Oh, the prize it's is, a hat. Uh, it is a hat and, and a t-shirt. Wow, that's so cool. Thanks, fairies. Thanks so, thank, so much. Thank you, fairy dust. Um, so, yes, that. a t-shirt and a hat would be coming your way. So, worth paying attention in the game of attention or emoji challenges, I've been told to call it. Um, so, everybody, uh, now there's dancing monkeys yeah. in my hand. It's what a crazy start this is. You should probably get started with our DIY. They're probably telling us. Hurry up with the Yes, pets. in fact, what's that? Yes, okay, we will hurry up. Okay. Sorry, no one called done, me then. Done, okay. Let's go. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Shush. Now, guys, <laughs> today we are going to create some awesome pet toys. Now, this one here in my hot little hand is for none other than the dog variety. That's right, for oh, your four-legged friend. Toy. Yes, it's a dog. So you're going to need some fabric. If you have a old t-shirt, perfecto. Uh, we're going to chop that business We've got up. some old t-shirts so here. So make sure you don't want to get a brand new one. No. This is some of that. mine that shrunk in the in the dryer. Oh, is that you on there too, Matt? Looking fancy. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, during great. my surfing days. I love that. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. And, uh, and 10. And we're also going to... Tubular. <laughs> totally gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> we're also going to need some tennis balls. So make sure you've got some of those. If you don't have a tennis ball, um, maybe you could roll up an old pair of socks. That might work. You know what? Why not? Let's give it a whirl. Okay, roll. And you're going to... No, 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 no. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, we've Thanks got tennis balls. We've, we've got, got tennis, tennis balls. balls. We definitely need okay. your socks on. Thank you very much. Woo. And some scissors. So if... I don't know how old all of you are out there, but perhaps you might need mum and dad's help with this one to do a little bit of a snip stiff. It is kind of tricky with fabric to cut straight as well, so make sure that your hands aren't within the blade line. Very hot that tip. That is a very good safety tip there. Thank you. Uh, thank can you. I have one? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Keep how old are you, Matt? You're I'm yeah, okay, it's good. in my 30s, going on 30. Team. Excellent. Perfect age to make our DIY pet toy. Great. Yay. Yay. How do you feel about that pet? <laughs> Woo. Oh, they're excited. Speechless. They're excited. Yeah. Okay, so first up, let's grab our t shirt, everyone. You yep. can, oh, I get to. Oh, do you want to choose which no, one? No, no, I love it. This is I great. think I might go this um, cool that looks like tie dye awesome. one, yeah. That Whoa! Looks like one of our tie dye classes. Possibly. Here oh, I, well, I don't know. It looks like a professional job to me. Oh uh, yeah, it must mm. be. Okay, so everyone, grabbing your beautiful shirt, and we're just laying it down right in front of us, like so. Mm. And we're going to make three strips of fabric. So we're going to make two wide strips, the same in size, if we can, and then one thinner piece. Someone's oh, been chopping at my t-shirt already. <laughs> Unbelievable scenes. I might well, go the smaller okay. one. You can just still use that. I, I think might... it'll look nice. Okay, okay, I'll do this one. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now let's show. Can we get a, a the old bird's eye view for everyone to have Ding. a look? Here we go. Put it this way. So this is our shirt. I'm going to cut about this thick, so this width. Here we go. 
all along. See, my fingers are not within the cutting distance. Now is the greatest time to get mum or dad if you need help. And you're just going to cut all the way along. And then we're going to do that again. So whenever you're ready, everyone can follow along. Do you chop it off completely? All the way. Oh, okay. You so this is off. half done for me already. Yeah. Well, I mean. Actually, I'll need to start again. You'll right? need to start okay, again. Okay, okay. That's right. Let me get this rid of this bit. <laughs> okay, so there's one mm. bit. If you're extra pedantic and like to, them to be exactly the same size, you can always pop that on top and then cut on this way. Otherwise, freestyle it, you know? So well, are we saying that now. you are extra pedantic? No. That you did that? <laughs> I just like things. If you are like me. <laughs> if you are like me. Oh, no, Matt, I'm about to chop through your, your surfing day. Oh. Sorry about that. Apologize. At least it was mean, not a shark. Although I'm sure a shark would probably love this chew toy as well. They, we they do like to chew. They do. Okay, see? So we've got one, two, and now we're going to do a thinner piece up here. Oh, did I do my bit too thin? No. Okay. You can't really go wrong, you know? Right, like, okay. it's great. Oh. Keeping your fingers out of the I'll way. I'll give it a good go. You will. You'll give it a red hot go. Uh, and snip again all the way to the end like so now you can do this one a bit thicker if you like or i know that's an interesting way to cut there we go Ta -da! now this top bit here we don't need we're just going to throw it away ding thanks so much well not throw it away you can reuse it to do something else out of it if you like see this one is a little bit crooked you I'm not the greatest at cutting oh, straight hey, lines. Mine's crooked too. Look but that's at that okay, thing. you know. We're all about just embracing our own. Am I supposed quality. to do three? Yes, please. One thinner one. Not as thin as mine, if you like. Make <sighs> it a little bit thicker. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. So much work to do. <laughs> There's even more coming. So, you know. <laughs> oh, no. All right. How about that? The dog thin? is going to love it. Yeah, I love that. Okay. I love it. I'm I love, love it. it. I reckon our pets are going to love this too. I hope some of you out there have. A pet that you can share yeah, this with. Yeah, I'd love to maybe even see some of your pets. Yeah. If you're out there and want to turn your camera on and show us your pet, we'd love to meet our four-legged friends. We sure do. We've got a four-legged friend of the studio named Raider, but oh, I don't she's... think Raider's here today. No. Otherwise, I'm sure Raider would be demolishing She'd our be all over pet these. toys already. Okay, how's that? Beautiful. Well so done. So we get rid of this part? Get rid of that part. Throw get out of here. There it is. See you later. Yes. Oh, we're in the Matrix. stars. So cool. I love this. That's because it knows it's about to get real. All right. We are going to grab both of our thicker pieces of fabric and we're going to see how it like you open it up and it creates like a hole. We're going to cut that so it creates one long piece. Yeah. Okay. Almost like a necklace. Oh, so we can just cut it at any point. Cut I it imagine. at any point. You don't need to Cut it at the seam, you could cut it wherever you desire, see? So then we're going to make one long bit like so. Mine's longer than yours. Perfecto, Flamingo, yours is. That's great for the puppies, they're gonna love that. Okay, and do that to the second bit, anywhere you like. The other thick bit? The other thick bit, okay. not the thin bit, just yet. Just remember guys, any questions, if you miss any bit, Start time fingers, and we'll come and answer your question for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, we'd love to. And see some of your work, or um, also you can just write it in the chat as well. Oh, I like. So then we got two yeah, long. We've got two long bits. Woo, so fancy. Okay, now these bits. <laughs> we look like elephants. We're now going to. <laughs> kind of, what do you think elephants look like? With long ears. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Put them in an X, please. Like an X marks the spot. Mm. We're turning into pirates up in here. Yarr. All right, oh, Yarr. Man, so this long. is going to be the treasure. That's so good because we're going to be plaiting them soon. So you're going to have a oh, lot dear. of time to plait. I've never plaited in my life. Well, today you're going to learn, Matt. How Ooh, exciting. How excitement. Okay. X. You can see that. Does this X have to be sort of like perfect? Or... No, no, just an X. Can it is great if things? um they're oh, even later. in size, obviously. It makes... But if you want your chew toy to have different lengths, Go for it. Do I ever? Do you ever? There you go. Okay, just like so. Now we're going to grab a tennis ball. Obviously. If you've got one, what color would you? Uh, have? blue. Blue, definitely. Okay, I'm going to go with the fancy red. Fancy. It's fancy. And put it in the middle of our X, please. That's our treasure. That's the puppy's treasure, actually. See? There you go. Perfect. 
<laughs> Exciting. <laughs> See what I did. Thank you, thank you. Thank you <laughs> And now we're going to wrap our tennis ball up. <laughs> Ready, Matt? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> so grabbing one side. Oh, should it be the part at the bottom or does it matter? Doesn't so matter because all the tennis ball's in the in okay, the middle. Okay, so. okay, okay. And then you're going to create like a little parcel out of it. See? Kind of like a little dumpling. You know how dumplings look? Oh yum. I haven't mm. had lunch yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get, go to Chinatown. That's right. And now, actually, let's cut our thin bit now. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. My thin bit's over here. <laughs> you can put your ball down and grab the other bit. Okay. This is our thin bit. And again, we're going to just do what we did with the thicker bits and just make a really long piece out of it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, long piece. Excellent. So cut it any way you like. Well done, Matt. Making sure, again, as always, your fingers are out of the way. Excellent, excellent. Okay. It is looking cool, isn't it, Chan? Thanks so much. Okay. Um, now you can create it. <laughs> Into the dumpling. Oh, yes. Yeah, well done. Matt. <laughs> Matt just, I don't know where I went for a second there. And we're going to tie the thin bit around oh, the tennis ball. Oh, I see, I see, okay, I see. Okay, so I'll do that again just in case you couldn't see. Here we go, this one. Cham, Cham has asked if we're going to make, um, if we're going to do bird toys today. Unfortunately, we're not doing any bird toys today, Cham. We're going to do a cat toy and a dog toy. But that is some really hot tips to know that maybe next time we can do a bird There's toy. Some, yeah, we do have a bird audience. Yes, it's true. What, and kind of, what kind of things do birds play with? Mirrors. Oh, <laughs> do they? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we can ask Cham. Maybe Cham can ask Cham, what sort, of... what sort of thing do birds like to play with? I've never had a bird as a pet before, so I just thought they, you know. It kind of sounds like a party I bird, mean, like right. one of those. <laughs> wah, wah. It's frightening. Um, I thought birds just play with, like, eat crackers and, oh, they and love talk crackers. back. Yeah. And they fly around in the cage. They do. Well, that's a chicken. That's a, that's a, well, chickens like to lay eggs. I guess they are a bird. I don't have to pick true. Okay, well, so I didn't realise we had so many birds in, in the studio. Oh, no. Look out. Look and out. seagulls. <laughs> Shouldn't have bought those chips. Hey, how did the pirate know his um, pet parrot was in love with a duck? Yes. I didn't realise this was joke telling mastery class, but how? Because he kept saying, Polly want a quacker. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I also tell jokes. This is, what, this is why Sontan has, hasn't hosted the joke telling mastery Unbelievable. class Unbelievable. Brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Okay, so now you should have a little uh, Have I done this right? Parcel. Yeah, yeah, you just had to tie knots in it. So oh, it no. doesn't. I'll do another one. So you can see, it looks a bit interesting. It's got like, you know, lots of things hanging off here and the balls in the middle. But now what we're going to do is on each of these bits, we're going to cut them into three strips. So if you can get them even in length and size, one, two, three, we're going to cut them and I'll show you, maybe we can get a one of these little bird's ears. And we're just going to, again, making sure our fingers are way out of the way, just cut all the way to the end. And this is how we are going to then braid it for our awesome little puppy so it can, like, chew on them. You see these in, um, I've seen them in pet stores, in shops, all sorts of things. So it's pretty cool that you can actually make this yourself. Save a bit of cash. Save a bit of cash and Those recycle pet stores can be your expensive. old shirts. Yeah, exactly. So, you know. Yeah, you've got a favourite T-shirt there that you just love, but it's got holes in it. Yeah, this is like, the best way. How can this T-shirt live on? You can I know. give it to your I get my dog. dog to chew it up. Absolutely. And, and then the greatest thing is, is if it gets too old and ratty, you can always just get another shirt that you don't want anymore. Do the same thing. Brilliant. Brilliant. How far down do I cut this? So try to take it all the way to the, as close to your can to the ball. Close to my can? As close, not, not well, I didn't know you had a can, but two can. Here we go. Like so that? Is that, that's beautiful. all right, right? That's great. Okay. That's great, Matt. I can, I can tell that you want that to be enough, so that's beautiful. <laughs> 
Uh oh, this is oh, I've, I haven't got very. They're not even in size. Is that going to okay. be a problem? No, not a problem at all. Oh, look, the dogs are getting excited. That's our giant dog. Just shh, don't move. Did he just lick your toes? Yeah, he's licking the microphone. Shh. Okay, he's gone. We, that Beautiful. dog is too big. We, that was terrifying. Oof. Oh my god, it's like Beethoven. Have you seen yeah. that movie? Anyone seen that movie? It's a massive dog. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's an old movie. Sometimes. It's an old movie showing my age. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, this is that. This is the thinnest okay, thing in the world. Okay, that's beautiful. There you go. Let's leave it at that. Okay, now, now everyone, Jesus. you should have your three strips. And does anyone out there know how to braid already? If you already know how to braid, beautiful. You can get started. You can start plaiting, doing your plait business. Otherwise, if we have the overhead bird's eye view camera. I'm going to show you what to do now. I'm going to wait for you here, Matt, because you ready. told me earlier that you didn't know how to do I it. I don't. So, looking at your beautiful pieces, you grab... These look like squids from up above. They do look like yeah. squids. Yeah. You grab one. See how there's three? You yes. grab both outer edges. Got them. With your hands, and there's one in the middle. Mm -hmm. We're going to grab... Well, I'm right-handed. Are you right-handed or left? Ambidextrous. Oh, I love that. Yes. So some people might find it easier to go left first. I find it easier to go right. I'll go left. I am right-handed. So you cross over the middle piece mm -hmm. and then you bring... Actually, I'll just follow you exactly. Yeah, you and then over. you bring the... You swap it. Uh -huh. Did everyone see that? Did everyone catch that? And so then we start here and yeah. we go yeah. over and then the one over the top, right? Yeah, beautiful. That's pretty simple. See, so you're putting the one on the right-hand side over into the middle side, bringing the one on the outer side from the left into the center. Hang on a and second. then you just keep doing it over again. I'm going to do this again. I go, did this, does this go over the top of that one and that goes under? Or yeah, does this yeah. go under oh, like that? You can either do either way, so whatever you prefer, because okay. actually a braid, you can have an Audi braid or an Innie braid. Okay, what's the next bit? And then you bring, so you went that way. Okay, right. so that to there, there and that, to, that there. to there. Okay. And then we do it again. So bring the I'll right the middle piece, one in. Yep. Over to there. Mm -hmm. Over to the outside. Ah. Is everyone watching on mine? Yeah, if you're watching <laughs> this. Great. One. <laughs> so you're bringing the outer side piece into the center, swapping the center one and bringing that to the outside. Then you're taking this from the left hand side into the center and taking the center one into the outside. So every time you move one into the center, whatever's in the center, take it to the outside of that piece. See? <laughs> Matt's got no idea, which is, brings me to my next bit, which is great, guys. If you don't know how to plait, and this is very confusing, you can also knot it. So I'm going to show you on the next bit, or right. maybe with Matt. Matt, do you know how to do knots? Uh, yeah, some knots. Okay, so I'll I'm show not a you. Boy Scout or anything. I'll show you this. So once you get to the end of your plaiting, you're going to knot the end of it. So you take, I like to take two fingers, wrap it around, and then pop the edge of that into, it's like tying your shoe basically, and then you pop that into the hole and then pull, pull nice and tight. And then you should have three little edges still, which makes it look a little bit fancy for your pet. And then that's nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. See? So it's a nice fancy plait and the end. Fancy. Fancy. Thanks, Matt. Mm. Thanks, Matt. Um, so also, guys, now I will show you how to do the knotting. So I'm going to next up, if you've followed that, you're just going to cut each one into three pieces again. And all you're going to do is exactly what I showed you at the end, but you can do it with this bit because it's kind of like a macrame as well, if anyone's ever done any of that. You just go along and it's just a lot of knots and you can make it look really pretty. Cutting again. Matt, have you already cut all of yours? Oh, well, no. I was just going to knot the one that I couldn't plait. But let's try and do this one, hey? <laughs> you might as well while I'm cutting. Might as well. Why not? Remember guys, okay. any questions? You just can take your camera off and say hi. Otherwise, you can keep giving us questions in the chat. So as I said, we're going to do that to each piece of fabric, cutting it into three. Okay, I might make, have made these a bit more even this time, which is good news. That will help a lot, I think. 
it'll make it look a bit more even once you plait it slash knot it. So making sure each piece oh. of fabric is within its triplet. I was going to say pair there and I'm like, that's not the word. It's not the word I want. Okay. You've got a three there, Matt? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. There. All right. Let's, let's knot it. So all we're going to do is grab two in one hand, one in the other. Great. And you're just going to tie it into a knot. So by bringing one underneath the two, creating a little hole like the rabbit, boing, 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 going into the hole and pulling it tight. Ready? And doing that over again. <laughs> this time. So hang on, you're just like, you're holding these together and, and then tying them as a knot. You know how to tie a knot? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yes, yep. I think I do. <laughs> Good job, Matt. Like Excellent. That? Yes, and you can just do that over and over uh -huh. and over again. So it looks like a ladder in the end. Uh -huh. Kind of looks like a, can you see that? Yeah. So guys, you can either knot it or plait it, whatever you like. It's a great way to practice your plaiting skills as well, though, if you don't want to do the knot. Ta-da. And see how it creates like a chain, like a link. And then at the end, you can either double knot it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that will become more apparent when your dog rips into that as well. <laughs> your little pet. So to finish it off, I like to double knot it just so it's nice and firm. And then you're going to do that around to the, all of the other ones as well. So again, your choice if you want to plait it or if you want to knot it, ladder it if you like. I've already got... Another three here, ready to go. There we go. So this one I might plait. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, hello. It's Polly. 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 Polly oh, she's excited. All right, Polly. Not long, can't not wait. long. Can't wait for, for W-A-L-K-I-E-S. Yes. Okay. And again, remembering once you reach the end, of your fabric, just tie a little knot in it. And if you're doing the knot technique, double knot it. And we just keep going round and round and round until eventually we have them all plaited like this. Ta -da! And it kind of looks like Matt said, it kind of looks a bit squid like. Squid like for our puppies. And again, I'm cutting the three bits of fabric. So this is nice for, if it's your dog's birthday, you can like create something for them or just at any time you feel like it. On holidays, it's a great idea to always have something nice for your pet to play with. Keeps things interesting, keeps their brains alert, their teeth nice and sharp as well. Okay, so again, I'm just plaiting here. Matt's doing the knotting. So you can follow either of us, whichever one you prefer. See, and I like Matt's because you can see the different colors in it too. Mm. So if you want to get extra creative, guys, you could even tie dye your old shirt beforehand. Yeah. And then we find one of our tie dye classes in the archives somewhere. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Tie dyeing is actually easier than what you think it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've done it before. We've done it before. Hmm. It's great. Oh, yes. Oh, Beautiful. yes. How's it going, Matt? Yeah. You're nailing it. Yeah, I've got a rhythm going on now. You do. Now, guys, with the last piece, if you're up to there, the bit that you've wrapped around the middle, mine's pretty thin, so I probably won't be able to cut a third bit out of it but you can the options yours if you want to then plait it again or knot it again or you can simply just tie it and loop it around for extra reinforcement for your puppy and just keep wrapping that around like so and then you can tie that off as well double knot it i like to double knot Ugh. one two well done, Matt. Mm. Well, we haven't seen the finished result just yet. 
But look, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. How are we going out there, guys? Anyone um, got their, what do we call this one? A dog toy? Yeah, it's a an, dog toy. Yeah, anyone it's a dog got, chew toy. Has their dog chew toy going? Anyone want to show us their dog chew toy? Oh, I would love toy? to see it. Anyone want to take their cameras off for a second and just hold it up for us? You don't even have to be in the shot if you don't want to. That's or okay. just let us know. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. no, that's all. In the chat. Tim wants to know what type of dog Polly is. Oh, uh, she is a, uh, what is it? She's a, a staffy. Sta oh, yeah, she is a staffy. Staffy. Oh, a, sta a staffy doodle. Cross with a, a shh, shh. Polly. <laughs> Away from the microphone, Polly. Every time. She just wants to be on air, you know? She yeah. is a star dog. She's a star dog. Yeah. Okay, so there we go, guys. You can see the difference in the chain here. I'll show you from the, the top. There's the chain. And you can see when your dog pulls on it, it'll just like stretch it out as well, which is so good. Look at that. There we go. That's the chain. And then this one is the plait technique. So either works. And if you don't, you find that either of those are a little bit tricky too, you can really just leave them hanging if you want into the big thick pieces but this just makes it extra tight and like stronger for your dog to ah, so it doesn't rip as easy yeah exactly I see. and matt there is just finishing off his mm -hmm. chain his little ladder chain i think that's right and this is the one we made earlier as well you can see all of the this one is with uh stretchy material so this will go even further when your dog's like woo yeah or you could create a little... And you can throw... What do you call those things? I you don't know, that? but maybe we shouldn't sure. do it with all this camera equipment around. That's a good point. So there you go, guys. That is your awesome chew toy. I hope I don't smash puppy. anything. Yay! There we go. Here we go. Polly. 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 Run, ready. Polly. Ready. Go, Polly. Here we go. Go. And catch it. Yay. Oh, the bird. Oh. Looks like the bird's got... I threw it in the aviary. Get away. Uh, the, the dog's coming. Quick, hide birds, oh, hide! No. Sorry, sorry. Get away! Oh. <laughs> looks like looks like it is a bird toy after all. <laughs> oh, here he is. Get it. Oh, oh he, it. he does love it. He loves oh it, guys. God, Polly so really cute. likes it. I hope your dogs out there love that too. And yeah. as we said, if you don't even have a dog, look at how much I fun Matt it. just had. <sighs> what? <laughs> all right, so chew, good. chew on it. Don't bark. Just chew on it. He's just oh, parking. He's just, just barking. barking at it. He thinks it's an a snake. I think he thinks it's an alien or something. <laughs> a squid alien. Ooh. Ah. Actually, this could also double as a Halloween scary ghosty. Wow. Oh, cool! Well, Halloween is coming up, it's so coming yeah, up, you can so use them go. and hang them up outside your house yeah. for the trick or treaters. Put ah. some spooky eyes on there. Oh. Santan. Genius! So I tell good. you what. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. I oh, know. Okay, guys, any questions, please type it in the chat yes. box. Uh, if you are all ready to move on to our next. I think we item. are. Yes, let's move on. Okay, we've got oh, okay there. Thank you, Cham. Yes, that's a. For our I think poly, she gave us an dog. okay for the next one. Oh, Thank we're you. just going into hyperspace to our I next. I love it. Okay, our next one. Next pet toy. Is none other than. Uh, meow. Do you know what that is, Matt? Meow. Hmm, let me <laughs> think. What is that? Meow. <laughs> oh, a possum. <laughs> no. Incredibly wrong. Uh, is it a lion? Meow. <laughs> no, it's not a lion. Meow. <laughs> Although it is of the cat. Oh. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> Well We're making a cat it's toy. Say it's part of the cat family because it is a cat. Ooh. Oh, that's a. Why do we have all giant pets hanging around the, Maybe the microphone? Shrunk. Yeah. Did we put peanut butter over the microphones or something? That is... We learnt that from our. Um... That's a lion. That's a lion, not a cat. <laughs> that is a heavy purr. That's a cat. There it is. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so I, think, I think the cat's walking over the soundboard, actually. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So now this next one is for your cats, your little furry friends. If you have fleece or perhaps an old scarf might work well. If you've got a scarf, it's coming out of winter and you're like, you know what? I don't want to use this anymore. 
than you can. We're going to try using uh, these washcloths, I believe. Oh, I got rid of them before. And now they're gone. Oh, not the wet ones. No, we no, no I got these. They're right here, look. Yeah, these hey. ones. This is what we want. <laughs> So I've never tried using these, but I reckon it will totally work. I don't see why not. Um, so what we've got here is a washcloth. So now's a great time if you've got one of those handy. A tea towel would probably even work. I'm going to go with pink. Otherwise, uh, fleece is really great because it does help with the little cat claws and everything as well. Um, yeah. Or even a scarf. So... As I said, you're cool. So first up, we're just going to fold it in half. Okay. Lengthways. I think I've got that. So ours are square, so it doesn't really matter. But if you've got a longer piece, then make sure you do it lengthways. No, no, Matt. No, that's a triangle. Oh. Although it is nice and long that way, isn't okay. it? Lengthways, like lengthways. this. Lengthways, okay. beautiful. Well done. Do you done. want the tag in? Get it out of there. Yeah, get it out of there. Although the cat might like it. Who knows? Now we need our scissors again, everyone. So making sure you grab your scissors. Thank you. You handed that up so nicely. Now see how we've got the fold here. We want to cut from this end, not the folded end. We want the end that is open. So flip yours around, Matthew. Perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> wow. So good. So good. <laughs> That's your last warning. Thank you. No way. Okay. No way. I've got too your many last jokes warning, up my sleeve. Sontan. All right. Um, grab your scissors. Again, making sure our fingers are out of the way, please. Otherwise, grab some help from someone a bit older. And we're just going to make some cuts almost to the end, making sure, though, we do not cut through that fold. How thin are we talking? Does it matter? This one doesn't really matter. It's up to you. If you want lots of thin little bits or a bit thicker, it's okay. your choice. So I'm going to make them probably, what's that, about two centimetres? One and a half? I don't really know. Do you know maths? Yes, yes. They call yeah. me the human ruler. And I would ah, say that is that? Uh, about ruler. two centimetres. Excellent. Two centimetres in length is what I'm doing mine of. But again, you're cool, everyone. Whatever it is that you feel like. And then we try and then we chop them almost to the end. Is, almost to the end. Is that yes. far enough, do you think? Yeah, or a bit I think that's okay, great. Okay, okay. That's beautiful, Matt. Well, oh, my done. straight cutting is not good. Okay. It's not one of my skills, everybody. It's not one of my skills either. I wonder if you guys are great at straight yeah. cutting. I'm Let us know if you're not. good at cutting straight. I've always found it tricky. Even, you mm. know, with paper and you cut around the outline. Oh, yeah. It doesn't work very well. Even just ruling a margin at school, that was oof. tricky. That was tricky business. Tell you what, tricky business. Hopefully right. you guys are better at cutting than us. Okay, snip, snip, all the way. We're doing all of the length. So again, no rush, take your time, please. We are dealing with sharp objects as safety <clears throat> officer Matt. Oh us, yeah. At the beginning of the show, we like to be nice and safe here at Star Time. I'm pretty sure that's how he says it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cut, 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 cut. Cut 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 cut, 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 cut. And you can see how wonky I am because it's now almost on my uh, hair. Yeah. It's turned into a rainbow. Mine's shape. going diagonally, but. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'll try and correct it here. That's going to make it worse. It right. would just mean that you've got a thicker bit, I, I would say. So it might not make it worse, Matt. Why not try it? You know? right. Look, yeah. And then That's you guys creative. can learn from my mistakes if it causes a problem. Absolutely. I think it looks cool. It looks nice already. I love, we could just leave it like this. I'm sure the cat would love it. I don't know what we're making. I know, all I know is it's a cat toy. It's a little cat. For all I know, it could be a burger. <laughs> well, it could be, but it you'd be, be wrong if the, you thought it was a burger, Matt. pink lettuce. And this looks like the cheese. Yeah. But we're not making a burger, no, guys. Yours could be a beetroot. Yes. <laughs> Uh, wow, look what the cat just threw. Uh, an onion. An onion. No, right. Definitely peeling itself off. Uh, some string because we need to make sure that we've got some string as uh, well, uh. everyone. Because once we reach the end of this cutting, we are going to wrap this business up with some string. And I'm going to do one more cut down the end here. I like to whistle when I'm doing things like arts and crafts, you know. It's nice, isn't it? I like to do this. It almost looks like a hula skirt. Oh, yes. 
Hula! We're going to Hawaii. Hawaii. Everyone. Aloha. Ooh. Aloha. Oh, this could be the mane. Oh, of, of a, the lion. Of the lion. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Or it could be um, my beard. Yes, or a fancy mustache. Hello, everybody. I've hello, got, hello. I've got <laughs> Woo! pink stuff all over me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you look fabulous. It's all in your hair. Okay, guys, let's hope that you are up to there with, as well. So all we've done, as you can see, is cut all the way along our bit of It does look like a fun skirt, it doesn't does. it? It does. I like it. Whee! Hula, hula. And now I we're going it. to... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Now we're going to open it up, everyone. So open it up, laying it flat, if you can. Oh. Now it kind of looks like, what, a yabby? A crab, yeah, or some sort of, some sort some of, sort of mollusk. Some sort of sea creature. Okay, so all of its little legs are hanging off the edge here. Hmm. Here they are, hanging out everywhere. Getting it all of the legs out, because what we're going to do is roll this up. So you want to make sure all the legs are out. Get Just those legs out. Get the legs out. Get the little animal's legs out. Okay. okay. Now once you've got, oh yeah, that looks great. See how much are thicker and mine are thinner? It doesn't matter. You can doesn't do it however matter. you want. Beautiful. And now we are going to roll it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roll it, rolly, 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 rolly. Rolly, 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 And if you can, the tighter the better with this. Okay, um, let me try that again. So then. think of it like a sushi roll. You know how they're nice and tight, and you're like, <sighs> they keep on like rolling it in and around. If you can do that, nice and tight. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. It almost looks like a a cheerleader's pom pom thing. What do you call those? Um, a, a, oh, it is a pom pom. I think a pom pom. I right. Yeah, <laughs> I nailed it. Amazing. Yeah. So there you go, like that. And now we're going to just put that down for a second, and we're going to cut our bit of string. So it depends on the length that you want your cat toy for, like how high you want to be able to dangle it for your cat, as to how long the piece of string you want to do. So I'm going to do roughly this size in length. And just give a little snip because we're going to tie this through the center. Thank you. Of our amazing fabric. Great work, Matt. Snip. So just grabbing the end bit and we're going to wrap it around our fabric in the center. And tying a knot. If you can see, I'll try and. Do this so you can see. So to tie a knot, we just place it one over the other and bring the other loop through. Yoink. Now I like to do a few knots here uh, just so it doesn't come undone too easily for your little cat friend. There we go. So I've got quite a few there. And then you can like, looks like, could almost look like a, weird fish or something like this if you want catfish with all of its whiskers a catfish <laughs> for a cat there we go for a cat and now what we're going to do is the fun so you just kind of squish it and mold it and see if it works with um our, our fun washcloths we've got happening and we're just going to squish it so it can kind of go into like a ball shape now this one doesn't really want to squish and mold but what you can do is pull the layers, if you can see, just keep pulling the layers down on top of each other. You'll feel that they slowly, and you can see that now there's no longer the middle bit. And you can do that to the other side as well. So pulling down on like some of the legs, so it makes it a little bit more of a ball shape. Beautiful. <laughs> Great job. And if that doesn't seem like, <laughs> like it's keeping its shape, you can always wrap one of the legs around, around the whole thing. So you can see that there's a long leg here. You can just wrap it all the way around and then tuck it in. Show us, Matt. Okay. Beautiful. Like that. Yeah. Great. And then just tie it in tuck on it itself. In. Yeah. Tie it, tie it with another one? Or no, tuck no. It? You can just tuck it in. Tuck it or into you the can string. tie it if you want. Yeah, sure. 
<laughs> if, if, if you'd like to tie it, absolutely. Uh, I'm down with that. Okay. See, and now you'll see that it's created like a fun little ball shape just for your little cat. And that would like the cats with their claws love to just grip any and because it moves around so quickly, they're like, whoa, give me some of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, here, here, here. Fluffy. 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 Here you go. Whoa, Fluffy's vicious. That was wild. Wow, okay. Fluffy Sorry. loves that. Okay, I'll try and bring my Sorry. Mama. Oh, phew. There we go. So there we go. It That's kind so of looks lively like today. It. They are, aren't they? Mm. See? Hey, hang yeah, on. that's what <laughs> What? <laughs> you can't help but want to play with it. Oh, so cute. And you can... Yeah, yeah, I was a right. cat in a past life. You maybe you will have... Well, you've definitely got the claws and the fangs for it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. There you wow. go, Who let everyone. all the cats in? Who let the cats in? Who? 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 That's who? the who? wrong song. Ah, oh, tricked y'all. Um, so there you go, everyone. That is your fun little cat toy. Um, now, Pat, we've got about 10 minutes left. Now, I'm pretty wild here at Star Time. It's kind of like to wild, think. yeah. Well, now, like all the wild animals we just let in. Well, because Cham asked about a bird thing, we didn't have it uh, ready for today, but I can quickly show you how to make some bird seed feeders. What? Yeah. Because, you just got that up your sleeve? got it up my sleeve. That's I why know. you were first on the list as a co-host. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think anyone's got any <laughs> elephant toys. Can you take? I don't, I don't. Hey, sorry. Can we take that elephant back outside the studio, please? No, no one ordered an elephant. <laughs> back it up. Back it up. <laughs> we don't have the space. No, no space that for elephants. That is elephant. wild. I don't know any elephant toys either. But okay. just for you, Chan, because we've already done our awesome dog toy and we've done our cute cat. Meow. Um, why don't we make the little bird seeder? Because they can also play with that. Like, but it's not necessarily a toy, but they're getting to eat it as well as packet it at the same time. So, Matt, I'm gonna leave you to tell one awesome joke and I'm gonna grab the bird seed and the tools that I need for it, okay. which is coconut oil and bird seed mixture. What, that's it? I know, wild. All right. So, and the joke is... <laughs> uh, what, what did the bird say to the other bird Said, I'm I'm flying, having a great time. <laughs> what did the elephant say to the other elephant? Pack my trunk, would you? <laughs> Time to be going on a holiday. That's funny. Oh, funny. Got away with it. Got away with it. <laughs> Let the dog die. <laughs> In my chair. Oh, oh. I tell you what, that was wow. amazing. I was dancing so hard, I oh. think I broke my chair. Oh, no. No. Don't it's all right. Do that. It's all right. Okay, Cham <laughs> and everyone out there, this is how you create some fun bird seed toys. Right. I suppose, Let's if do you like. it. Let's do it. So grab yourself some bird seed. This is just from our local supermarket, just up the road. Any kind of bird seed, go for it. Yeah. You just sprinkle it in a bowl. What? There we go. Sprinkle it in. And now you grab yourself some coconut oil. There we go. The greatest thing about this coconut oil is um, it's already a little bit squishy. Otherwise, it's really recommended to put it in the microwave for a little bit, but you know what? It's okay, we can do this in here. And just grab, it's about two spoons of coconut oil. So I hope you're paying attention here, Chen. This is all for you. Mm -hmm. And all of and our bird friends out there. Brandly out there as well. Yes, and anyone else, and all the others, all the all the others, others. out there in the Zoomiverse. Yeah. And so, because coconut oil, <clears throat> if you just smush it up, it gets heated quite easily. All we're going to do is roll it into the bird seed. And then this is how you create some amazing little bird seed. <laughs> Looks good. We made this last time, remember? I remember now. Yeah. Watch out, there's a magpie coming. No! Oh, no, it's no, frozen. No. It's frozen. Oh, phew. That's let lucky. Let it go, let it go. It's kind of scary, though. 
Okay, once that is all mixed stay. in properly, stay Maggie. It is swooping season. Stay. It is. It's I was terrifying. swooped the other day, actually. Were you? See? Yeah. You must be like on the I wasn't list. wearing a hat. It swooped me. And then I, I said, don't panic. And then I panicked and ran. Oh. And I ran. And well, it got good, me again. Well, good, because they get, they get pretty feisty. Yeah. Now, um... Wear a hat out there, guys. It's swooping wear season. It. It's true. Then you just put them into a molding tray or good, you can, um, well, we'd be able to eat it probably. It's just seeds and coconut oil. You can eat don't, birds? Don't try it. Don't try it. Um, <laughs> only normal Surely food. you've got some human food in your house you can eat first. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. And then you just put them all in. You can do this too, Matt, if you I'm good. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. Okay. Looks good. And just getting them nice and round. And then we're going to put... Lovely. Um, a little hole in them. You could do the whole part if you like. Oh, okay. With the, um, with the, spoon. With the spoon, that's right. Because okay. once they're um, solid, you're going to thread some ribbon through and then you can hang them up in your bird cage or outside or on a tree, whatever you like. And the birds just love to come along and peck at them and get some, <laughs> get some nice, nice food. Or have a little play so with there it. You go, so there you go, Chim. There you go, Chim. You asked. Like, you were like, and where's the bird toys? Went, well, well, well. Here right it is. Here. So what you would do once you've filled up your moulds is pop it in the fridge and you'll know when it gets solid, they're like <laughs> solid, but it takes only about 10 minutes. And So they just freeze on the right? Oh, you just have to put them in the fridge, did you say? Yeah, put them in the fridge. Yeah. Or if you want it extra speedy, you can put them in the freezer. Um, but yeah, just pop them in the fridge making sure that before you put them in the fridge, you put the hole in it, just as Matt's doing here. Yeah. So then you can thread your ribbon through. And then last one. There you go. There you go. So, so just, just to go over that again, just some bird seed bird and some seed, coconut, coconut oil, oil. And that's it. That's it. And something to make you a hole with, like exactly. this little spoon. Oh, and of course, an ice tray. Yes. Or you can, if you or don't, yeah, you or can something. just use a cupcake Baking tray. Mold. Or you could put it into a circle with your own hands if you like. Uh oh, oh, the birds are the birds are circling. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, why do we do this? Right. It's like I a, feel exotic. It's like a Hitchcock film. Back off. <laughs> oh no. Back off. Oh no. Uh, Phew, there yeah, we go. Just take Back it and run. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. Well, they're no, saying they're they saying, want more. Saying help. Ow. Ah. What do you guys want from a milk. milk? Oh, they want you to play a song for them, maybe with the guitar, Matt. Oh, <laughs> That's what they want. That's All gonna right. be called Fun. Who Let the Birds Out. Ready? Here we go. Who let oh, the so that's, birds that's the phone. Out. That's the phone. Oh the no! Car. Oh no! Ready? Here, who let the birds out? Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 Hoo, hoo, hoo. Birds! Hoo, hoo. <laughs> birds! Who let, who let the, the birds out? out? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Who let the birds out? There you go, there you go. So There you go, that's what they wanted. Man, we're giving everyone what they want today. We are. You know, they wanted bird. Toy thing. There's some angry birds. Oh no. Don't, don't get too angry, guys. Oh, don't be angry. Right we made you a treat. Yay. You crazy birds. Enjoy that business. So, can we get a bird's eye view <laughs> of our delicious bird treats? You are we? on fire I today, know. Sontan. Thank you so on much. Absolutely. I want to fire. bring it up close so everyone watching can oh, see. Yeah. See the beauty. See There's the holes. the holes. So, make sure that you do that before you put them in the fridge. Otherwise, you won't be able to thread the ribbon through to hang them. There you go. Alrighty yeah. then, so do we have any, before we wrap it up, any last questions, anything you missed, any uh, special comments? Mm. Anyone want to show us some of the cool toys they've made? They yeah. want to quickly switch on their camera. We've got a, a shy bunch today, we Sontan, do. which is cool. But if anyone would like to just flick on their camera, put your dog toy in front of it and we can see what, the, what wonderful work you've done. Yes. Otherwise, um, ask any questions in the chat if you if you want to. Otherwise, um, will you join us again in the next session sometime? I sure will. In the next one, get your scoop on, everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
because we're going to be creating some scary Halloween toppers. Ooh. 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 So Just in time for mm -hmm. Halloween, which is probably like two, two, three weeks away. Yeah. So you're going to start preparing. Maybe it's a witch's cap. Just. Shh. Is that an owl? Okay, the animals are getting scared. <gasps> Now that we've mentioned Halloween, the animals I'm are getting, getting scary. Scared, Mark. That's all right, that's all right. Don't be scared, don't be scared. I think we're I'm a scaredy no, cat. No, it's going to be fun. We're going to make our Halloween treats. Uh, oh, it's yeah, going to be all fun. Scare them we're going to scare them away. Good idea. Good idea. So, oh, so join us again in <gasps> half an hour, guys. Be back in half an hour. Yay. And make sure you get your ingredients. What stuff do they need? Oh, they need quite a bit for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you definitely need some apples. Uh, a knife handy or mum or dad. You need yourself some melting chocolate. Ooh, you need to get some marshmallows if possible and some icing and food colouring. Yum, mm -hmm. yum, yum. So yep. go gather your um, ingredients, get your kitchen ready. Get it ready. And um, we'll see you again in half an hour. Yay! Let's make some sweets, people. Woo -hoo! See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.